James Tierney, tierneyeducation.com, with a quick video on how to find a Nash equilibrium in a game. Notice I've set up a pretty straightforward two by two matrix here where we have two well-defined players, player A and player B, and we know that their well-defined strategies are either saying yes or no. And we have the payoffs here in the middle. I'm not gonna go through exactly how to set up a game, that would be a different video. I am assuming that you are up to this point in your knowledge, and you're just trying to get a little more information on how to find a Nash equilibrium. So I'm gonna go over what I believe is the easiest way to find a Nash equilibrium in a simple two by two game. Okay. By definition, right? What's the definition of my Nash equilibrium? No incentive to move. Right? By definition of Nash equilibrium, we've got multiple players. In this case, we have two. And whatever they have landed on, choosing their strategies, now knowing that, they have no incentive to change their strategies. They have no incentive to move elsewhere. And how exactly are we going to do this? Well, we're going to try and match what we call the best response. So we're gonna find the best response. When we say best response, it's this player over here, player A is playing something, what is player B's best response? What's going to be the best thing for them to do? Let's do that. The way we do that is we just assume one player is gonna play something. So let's assume player B is playing yes. So we can cover up the no. So we're only looking at this column here. If player B plays yes, player A can play no and get three points, or play yes and get five. Five is greater than three, so when I'm covering this up, right, I know that player A would like to be here. I'm just gonna put a little underline, just so I know that's the best response. Now, what if player B plays no? Well, if player B plays no, then again, player A is either gonna go 10 or 20. They would rather play 20. In fact, this, no matter what player B plays, player A always wants to play yes. That is going to uh, be a dominant strategy. I'm just gonna put a DS there. Uh, I have a video, I'll make sure I put it up there, a video on dominant strategy if you wanna look at that uh, as well. It's very, very old, but it's a great video. Now let's go for player B, right? So if player A is playing yes, that means it's this row right here, so we can cover up the bottom row. Player B can either play three or five, so it wants to play five. And if we cover up, we say that player A is only gonna play no, then we know player B could do 10 or 20. Which one do they wanna know? They want a 10 or 20, well 20 is better, so they're gonna go over here. Again, this is actually a dominant strategy. Uh, and what we see here now is the best responses have been underlined, so we can clearly show that this is going to be our Nash equilibrium. So our Nash equilibrium is going to be when player B plays yes and player A plays yes, and the outcome is going to be 5-5. Five, five. So this video showed a Nash equilibrium where we only had one. Could we have multiple Nash equilibria? We can. I'll make sure I make a video about that too and I'll link it below in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Again, subscribe and like to this page and reach out tyrannyeducation.com if you ever need any help with economics or higher education in general.